As the newly appointed chieftain of a modest Viking clan, you'll have a village of your very own, but to carve out your name into the rune stones of history, you'll need great strength and great wealth to grow your village's prosperity and renown. There is little left to be gained from the Norse lands, and so you must set your sights on the seas to the west, where it tells speak of a great island filled with treasure ready for the taking. And that's what we'll be doing. Welcome to Expeditions Viking. It's going to begin right now. There was an Expeditions Conquistador. But now here we go. I already have a name for my character. A name that a few of you might be familiar with. Let's go to pick that up. Maybe find a suitable appearance. I'll be taking my time reading through things and all of that. That's about right, I think. I'll be a little bit larger in build, I think. A more full fellow. Okay. Change our colors just a little bit. I kind of like that. A little bit of that blue. Definitely not green. I'm not digging the green at all. Or the red. Yeah, I think I like that. Could go for a darker primary. You know what? That'll work. Cloth shoes, sandals, wrappings. Keep that. Here's some bracers, which I want. Leather. Yeah, we'll work. Leather. Hold back hair. Okay, I want to make it look a little bit like the picture as much as I can. I suppose that would be closer to it. No bangs, really, so that's going to be a difficult one. Let's keep on looking for something nice. The face. So we do have, what, maybe a little bit of scar? Yeah, I think so. Definitely not going to be shaven, though. That's not going to be okay. Alright. We're a large man with better full beard. Just going to go through the options real quick just to show you what's out there. That's what we have. And that's what we'll keep. Okay, hair color. A little bit more brown than what we have. There we are. Complexion. I think that would do. We'll keep it at green eyes. I like that. Baldir Halvidsson. That's who we have. And outside of the hair, we nearly have what we need. That's probably more like it when I look at it, but I already made my appearance where I wanted to go. So we'll keep that. Okay. Then you have your stats over here. Strength, Endurance, Finesse, Perception, Sense. I mean, these are all pretty familiar for a lot of people who've played these types of games before. Hit points are over here. Block Chance, Critical. Born to Player Father and Astradir in the year 769. With Captivating Green Eyes and Hair Brown as there are. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit more Endurance. Perception is over here. It looks rather important. Finesse is rather important too. So we'll grab that and put two points of the Strength. We'll be a bit stronger. He's going to be a strong, tough, and graceful man. And then we have our unique skills over here. So I want to make sure that I can use my shield. You can upgrade it more than once. But let's look at a basic point where we can. I'm going to use the axe, because I like to. There's my shield. Offensive skills are over here. Anticipate opening. Next attack will always be a critical attack. We have charge. I like the idea of having a charge, so we'll take that too. Over here, we have a few other skills. Leadership. Special conversation. Yeah. Keep on looking. Here is Constitution. I want to be a tougher fellow. There's a lot of crafting. It's a very unique game and very interesting too. Diplomacy. Take that. Backstabber. We have other skills over here, which are passive. Quick feet. Move around an enemy without incurring any type of penalty. I like that idea. Okay. That's for healing. More damage. Critical chance for all attacks. Not really my thing. I can't really upgrade too much around here just because I don't have the points for it. I wish I did, but I really do not. Let's go ahead and look at what we have or what we can upgrade again, maybe. For infections. I, well, I don't want to be infected. That sounds terrible. I'll keep the remainder of my points. And I think that will do it. Yeah. You can. Yeah, I had a feeling. Go check it out now. It's a very calm game, a very satisfying one to play, I might add. And I'm actually very excited to show you it. You can find it down below. There will be a playlist here. Your father here. was a great warrior and a good husband, but he was not a strong chieftain to his clan. As he travels to join his brothers in the halls of Valhalla, you must take his place. Our clan is beset by petty squabbles. Some amongst our people would contest your claim to leadership as they saw discord our neighbor's plot against us. Gather your most trusted clansmen. Together you will face dangers which none can predict. You will be challenged on your leadership, your resolve, your wisdom. 
Build a ship and take your house cars across the sea. Power and strength for our clan must be sought outside the Norsemans. If you show yourself to be bold, the gods will follow you into battle. Your legacy will live for a thousand years beyond your time. Our clan must prevail. Whoever wrote that, kudos. That actually gave me a little bit of a shiver. Her voice was fantastic, and I really enjoyed that speech. That was pretty rousing. <laughs> Definitely dig that a lot. Wow. I feel the need to become a great chieftain now. Okay, we're loading in now. If I get any pronunciation wrong, feel free to let me know. Aid me, Odin, in my effort to bind the struggles of a bygone time as glimmering light on glass. Alright, getting into it. We can find out more about the world. Here we are. It is the evening after your father's funeral. When you close your eyes, the image of his blazing ship shimmers in the dark behind your eyelids. It's not a common ritual this far south, but your mother, Ashadir, who hails from the land of the Gits, insisted on it. All the Thangans of the neighboring clans have come to attend your feast in his honor. Your father may not have been the most successful thing, but as a warrior, he commanded the respect of many. The guests are filing into your father's, your, longhouse. The Thanes enter first, each trailing a modest group of warriors. Your mother leans in to whisper a few words of advice before she takes her seat. You should greet each of the things before the feast begins, but listen well to their words. Few of them would benefit from making this a smooth transition. It will be important to know where they stand. Okay. I had to actually quickly remake my character. I realized that because I put Halvard's son, it added an extra son to it. I didn't know they would automatically add that, but they did. But I have my same appearance and my same skills too. Characters with golden nameplates have dialogue for you. Click on them to talk to them. All right. The icon over your chair is the quest marker. You can turn these off in the game settings for a more independent play experience. Old quest markers indicate mandatory objectives. Talking to the other things is not mandatory, marked by the silver quest markers which indicate optional objectives. When you want to move on, just take a seat by clicking on your chair. Go talk to my brother. Your elder brother, Rurik, has always had a penchant for music. He looks up and gives you a warm smile as you approach him. Gott veld, brother. I mean, my honor thing. How do you feel? I'm well. Rurik, I know our father is in Bahal now. You can barely hear a soft voice over the den of the feast. I'm certain he is. Odin would have to be a fool to not accept a warrior like him. How has everyone been treating you? Everyone knows you are a better warrior and a stronger willed man than I. Nobody wants me as their thane. To tell you the truth, I think our clansmen are almost as relieved as I am that you took on the mantle. I have to go and be a good host. I'll talk to you later. Your brother flashes a cheeky grin. Just use the old signal if you need help to get out of a conversation with one of the other things. Katil over here. Busy entertaining your guests? Not too busy to check in on you. I've had an uneasy feeling all night. Have you seen Skull's Huskarls over there in the corner? Rodgarda and Skaki. I've heard stories about them. Nefja seems to be expecting trouble too, so I've decided to go easy on the meat and keep an eye out. I appreciate that. It never hurts to be careful. He turns his head back slightly towards Asshole Fear. Speaking of which, keep an eye on the big lug back there. He and his friends have been putting their heads together all night. I think he might be planning something. I'll keep an eye on him. Leave the watch to me. This is your feast. You should relax and enjoy yourself. I'll alert you if something happens. Hey there. Asshole Fear is a distant cousin. Leadership of the clan has moved between your side of the family and his for generations. He's known as a skilled warrior and a hard worker. Asselfir sits with his two closest friends. Our condolences on the passing of your father. At least he died the way he would have wanted. He will be feasting with the gods tonight. Thank you. I hope there's no bad blood between us. It's no secret I didn't agree with how Halvard ruled our clan. Bearing this in mind, I don't see what gives you the right to succeed him. But his face is in his honor, and I will not insult his memory here, nor will I challenge your claim to leadership. You believe you would be more suited to lead us. Or, actually... Thank you for keeping these things separated. I'm a little bit more diplomatic. He nods once and then returns to, or his attention to his companions. Let's go over here now. The White is the most influential of your guests. As a vassal of King Sigurdir Ringer, she is a current ruler of Denmark. She has come from the trade hub of Ribe to the south, where, the, where she presides as Jarl. She nods politely as you approach your seat. It was a beautiful ceremony, Baldir. I send my condolences for your loss on behalf of Ribbon and of the king. 
I must tell you, I advise him to not seek out the isles across the sea. We've all heard the stories of the unprotected coast and their treasures, but there's more danger than the rumors led on. I'm not surprised they claimed his life, but I am glad at least he died with a sword in his hand. Thank you for accepting the invitation. We are honored that you could make it. Of course, your father's sword will be missing our struggles against the Franks. Did you know Halvard well? I knew him as a warrior. We fought together on the Bravalier, and he struck me as a shrewd tactician. When your king needs you, I hope that you will serve him as well as your father did. I will. You have my word. She nods once. I'm glad to hear it. Our king will not forget those who ate him in battle. If you'll excuse me, I must do the rounds. Enjoy the feast. The old chilled maiden smiles. She gracefully slides back down into her seat, whereupon she spears a large piece of chicken with her knife and dumps it on her plate. What else do we have around here? Oh, here we go. Half down here. We're gonna have a chat over here, right? Oh, I can kind of rotate it a little bit. Good. I need to build a rotate it to build a look on the sky easily. Halfdanir is the thane of a slightly larger clan that borders your lands to the east. He wears a solemn expression and nods heavily when you approach him. Alvar is in Valhalla now, Baldur. There's no doubt about it. He died doing what he loved. But while he feasts among the heroes, you're left back here to sort out the pieces. You've got your work cut out for you. What do you mean? Your father managed to make quite a few enemies at this time, most of them among his own clan. If you'll permit me to be honest, he never paid one peck of attention to the wishes or needs of his people. Surely you're not expecting your claim to leadership to go uncontested. No one in his clan is more suited to lead than I. I won them over. Well, shit, let's hope you're right. At least it's plain for all to see you throw a bloody fine feast. Halfdanir empties his mug of meat in a single gulp and slams a mug onto the table and calls to a thrall for a refill. Skull? Skull Cleaver. Okay. Skull Cleaver is a thane of Yelling, which borders your area. Yelling is a large territory, and Skull is one of the most powerful thanes in Jutland. Yelling has, prof has prospered under his rule. Skull pushes himself away from the table with his foot in the chair, making a grinding sound across the wooden floor. His face shows earnest sympathy. Bald dinner, my boy. So sorry about your father. If there's anything the people of Yelling can do to aid you in these trying times, don't hesitate to ask. It's very kind of you, Thane Skull. Of course, we must all stand together against the Frankish threat. He leans towards you, resting his elbow on a table. Tell me, what are your plans for this place? How will you lead your people? Well, I'll start by expanding our defenses. Or actually, you know what? Why don't we build a folk moot? We'll work on the people. A wise course. I can already tell you'll make a better thing than Halvard. As I said, he was a great warrior, but it's clear where his interests lay. I'm sure you know I fought with your father many years ago. We were very much in a similar inclination, he and I. That man had a real taste for battle, not like his brothers. Mark my words, Baldir. True bonds are forged in battle, not bound in blood. He came to me for advice before he mounted the last journey, on account of my ties to Kapong. I should have warned him better about what he was getting himself into. What does Kapong have to do with it? Vikings out of Kapong have been to the Isles across the sea. I've heard many stories about it since I often go there to trade. Your father wanted to hear if the stories were true. Ah, but I've taken too much of your time already. I know you have other guests to entertain. Perhaps we'll talk later, after a bit more mead. Nods more to himself than to you and turns his attention to the food on the table. They do like to party, it looks like. One more. Nef Java here. There you are. The feast seems to be off to a good start. It's nice to see you out of your armor for once. You've seen my sister in a dress before. Surely that's the same thing. God, she was so excited to see me like this. I'll never hear the end of it. Where is she? My poor sister has a fever again. She has such a frail constitution. All this wet cold is hard on her. Others stayed at home to care for her. What do you think of her guests? Your fellow Thanes are certainly a proud and graceful bunch, even as they plot to murder you and take our lands. You think that poorly of them? Oh, I'm sure not all of them are actively planning to kill us. I have a weird feeling about Skull, though. I doubt they call him Skull Cleaver for no reason. Hoftonir plays lovable old grump, but I know he's had eyes on our harbor for years. Roggenhilder, I'm not sure about it. She probably has nothing to gain from destroying us, but she's little more than Sigurdur Ringir's appendage, and who knows where he stands. Good luck, and watch your back. What a delicate time. Following the initial meet and greet, everyone toasts to your father and digs into the mill. Food covers every inch of the table, and the freshly brewed mead seems to flow endlessly. Following the initial meet and greet... Oh, right. My bad. I thought it actually changed up. You're listening to Neftis' usual complaints about her mother when Kettle perks up and slips discreetly out of the longhouse. 
Outside, some piece of pottery crashes against the ground and men begin to shout. In short order, the door flies open and the doorway is filled by Otar Erlingsen. Sword in hand, outside we see, you see his brothers standing over the prone form of Ketil. Otar looks around the room with disgust. What a splendid feast for such a shit thane. Otar's gaze stops on you. He raises his sword to point at you accusingly. Baldir, your family had a chance to earn our respect and you wasted it. Come outside and defend your honor or we will burn this hall to the ground. Otar, you miserable drunkard. How dare you attack your thane's honor during his own feast. Your family will pay for this. Otar has turned his back on you and is already working back outside. All of the guests are turning their gaze to you in anticipation. Your mother leans in to whisper in your ear. You have to handle this. If the other things think we're too weak to deal with such a blow against our family's honor. This will not stand. Nefja, are you with me? By the gods, he's going to make us kill him th this time, isn't he? I hope Kettle is alright. Yeah, I don't know about that, but we'll find out. She'll get a weapon. Well, they can party. I'll be here. Equipment. I need to equip it now, don't I? Yeah, right over here. Easy enough. Drag items. Okay. Two sets of weapons. I could freely switch between them in combat. There we are. There's mead. I'll equip that too. You can see characters' primary stats as well as their current morale, whether they have any injuries. That's pretty cool. Here's my skills over here. All these stats are derived from your primary stats and modified by your skills, your equipment, and any lingering status effects. Hover over each of them to read about where they're coming from and what they do. Use these buttons to switch between the five different categories of skills. Click on the skill to see what it does and whether it unlocks any abilities. Icons are grayed out if you don't meet the skill requirements. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, she's over here. Been there for a long time. I need to read these later. Even a few ideas about their personalities, too. None about mine, it's a shame. Guest log. Yeah, I've got to go handle them. Here's my homestead that I can upgrade over time. Which is really cool. Oh, I can do that right now? That's interesting. Building an upgrade takes time. Assign thralls to the upgrade or to speed it up. You will never get your thralls back, but without them, you are unlikely to finish all upgrades before the game is over. Huh. Because I need to get more in the future. Here's a codex over here. Clansman Ribe, who's neutral. We're ready now. Let's go handle these dogs. They came at me. Now we're going to put them into the ground. Most of the guests follow you outside and form a half circle behind you. You're dimly aware of the other things muttering among themselves. Nefta runs over to Ketzel to help him back on his feet. A streak of blood runs from his hair down to his cheek. But it looks like he can still fight. Four against one. This is what the sons of Erlinger... Thorgelson, is it a fair fight? Hunter's brother, Toss sneers. He sounds drunk. Shut your mouth, woman. He started it. Go home, you fools. I know our families have never been on good terms, but if we spill each other's blood tonight, the killing will never stop. He's right, Otar. This is not what father would want. Otar grunts with irritation. It doesn't matter what father wants. We're here now. There is no going home with our honor. Nothing about us is honorable. I should have never come here with you. Then run, Ari. Run back to the farm like a coward, and we'll deal with Baldur ourselves. Ari's eyes flicker between you and his brother's ejected. He takes two steps back, and then turns and walks away. Otar's gaze never leaves you, and his hand clenches around the grip of his axe. Does your father know you're here, destroying his name? He shifts his weight restlessly as he regards the thanes assembled behind you. He does not, but he will be proud of us when Asulfir is finally our thane instead of you. Asulfir steps forward and draws his weapon. You've gone too far, Otar. There's no honor in this. I must take Baldur's side here. Fine, we'll kill you all. Then I'll be Thane. Oh. Here we go. Combat is an important aspect of the game. Defeat does not necessarily mean game over. You will usually be able to continue, and the story may change in some cases. During combat, blue hexes appear under your allies and red hexes underneath enemies. You can select yourself and your warriors called Hirdmen. Either by clicking on them directly or by clicking on their portrait. You can make default attacks against enemies by clicking on them when the cursor changes to a sword or an arrow. In addition to normal attacks, remember to use your character's abilities. When the conditions for an ability is not met, it will be grayed out. Hovering over the individual abilities will provide information about their use and effects. Okay. Well, let's go take care of them. Begin with me. Well, I'm way back here, but I'm going to come over here anyway. Otar, I'm going to get you. Let's begin. Take that, Otar. We've done our part. 
I'm gonna have her come help me out now. She's got a long weapon, so she can actually attack behind me if she wants to. We have a bow over here. Ranging shot, one charge left. Spotted. Quick shot. We're pretty close. It's interrupt, rebuke, cripple. Tactical move, free for all characters. Spot traps. We're going to use a quick shot right now on him. A very high chance to hit, so we might as well do that. Let's try that again. And he's down. Two arrows right into him. Okay. And then over here we can take another shot, right? No? Oh, a ranging shot. That's beautiful. No, he spotted. No damage though. Okay. That's the fear. Let's have you help me out too. Here's cover. Okay, so there's even cover too. That's good to know. Oh, there's one more left. Okay, well let's move over here. We can move up now. We definitely want to have our shields on the front of where we're going. We'll have her move behind. She does not have a shield. A character has entered cover. Cover usually comes in either high or low cover, which is visualized by shields hovering next to the hexes. When it applies, cover blocks attacks completely. There's no partial cover, either in cover or you're not. Cover protects you against range attacks from the direction of the space with cover. A character in low cover will automatically stand up to shoot over it, but will also be forced to stand up. If an enemy stands next to him, high cover will still work. If the character is standing but requires movement to shoot at enemies on the other side. Good to know. So now we've done our part, we can end our turn. Their turn. And blocked. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna move up now. We're gonna hit him like that. We've done our part. I'm gonna have her move behind me. And she can still hit him. I love that though. That's really cool. And he's dead. She did a great job. We fought and killed them. Victory. They came to my feast and dishonored my family, and they had to be put to the sword and axe and bow. No new injuries. He's got existing ones already. Light trauma to the head. Whenever you finish combat, you will see the screen, which has a few vital pieces of information. Combat results. If a character was injured during combat, any new injuries will be displayed here. They will need to be treated the next time you make camp. Here you will see any items still equipped by your herdman. If you use any items during combat, it will be shown here as well. Combat results, here you will see all the items equipped by each character. Any items that lost their ability during the fight will be indicated by a red arrow. Otar Erlingsen lies on a frozen earth in a small pool of his own blood. His blank eyes gaze at the sky. The lifeless bodies of his brothers are scattered around the yard in front of your hall. It's fortunate that you convince Ari to back out as he is now his father's last hope to continue the lineage. You guys look on solemnly as the snow in front of your feast hall turns red with the blood of the farmers. If any of them doubted your resolve before, now they see what you are made of. So look at these real quick. Anyone who has a dispute with me can observe our customs and challenge me to a duel, but I will not be ambushed at my own feast. Anselfir steps forward. He looks not the least bit tired from the fight. I supported you here tonight because Otar and his brothers were out of line. It is not the way of our clan to kill each other in drunken brawls. Baldur, son of Halvard, I challenge you to a duel for the position of Thane. An excited murmur rises among the guests, until mutters in a voice too low for anyone other than you and Neftchit to hear. Can you believe this picture, Sonir? It is right to issue such a challenge. His timing could be better. I will not find you, Asafir. I need you at my side. Why do you challenge me? See that the Thane should never be passed from father to son like a sword or a horse. If our clan is to endure, we must ensure that we are ruled by the strongest and most wise among us. We will meet on Holmgang Island at noon on the morrow. May the gods favor you. Didn't want to have to fight him, but I can't let these people bother me like that. We'll take what they have and have a chat. Cork. he has been drinking too much. Another thing over there. Look on the compass rose to open the area map. This shows the layout of the area with points of interest and your current position marked. Okay. I can't believe it came to this. A man that bitter with sons that stupid was just a matter of time. Let's go look over here. We'll have to deal with Erlinger after the duel tomorrow. Erlinger lost all his sons tonight. He might as well be out for vengeance, but he has no way to get it anymore. Let me fight him. I can handle him myself. A pleading tone creeps into Neptune's voice. It is not something you hear often from her. Don't underestimate Asafir. 
He's just as strong as you are. I don't plan to rely on combat prowess alone. You plan to set up a ruse? She squints at me. Then she nods. That's a good idea. Let me know if you need any help, but if you change your mind, my offer stands. I bet she could do it. I don't doubt that for a moment. Dark eyes size you up elaborately, or under elaborately braided hair. There's something mysterious and dangerous about this woman. Rodgarda, he made short work of these mules. Man after my own heart. How's that? Nobody fucks with me and lives. You seem to be similarly inclined. I must admit, I enjoyed it. She smiles and you're reminded of the snake on school's banner. Oh, you enjoyed it, did you? Good for you. Might want to keep that sort of thing to yourself in the future, though. Subtlety will take you far even around here. I'm glad I got a chance to meet you now. I'm sure this won't be the last time we see each other. She holds her cup in salute and slithers his way into the crowd without asking you to leave. I'll look over here real quick. That's a few points, but we're busy right now. Let's go talk to my mother. She wraps you in a warm embrace. There's a hint of tears in her eyes. Well fought, my child. Your father would be so proud. Was my father such a poor thing? She looks away. Hobbit was always more a warrior than a leader, but he was no worse than most. This isn't really about him. It's about ambition and greed. There'll be another fight tomorrow. Asulfir. I know. Asulfir is a skilled warrior. You would do well to make some preparations. What can I do? It might seem like it now, but most of our clan remains loyal to us, if nothing else, and because they prefer you as Thane over Asulfir. Go to Holda in the bog and ask for her help. She is old and wise, and she has many ways to weaken a man. Well? Poison, I don't want to beat him. Or, I, w I want to beat him, not kill him. Runs a hand over her graying hair, she thinks. There's another option. Sigurdir has an idea, or may have an idea. She is good at setting traps for the creatures of the forest. She may know of a trap large enough for a man. Other than that, Veldulfer may be willing to get you some better equipment. You shouldn't go to the, into the duel with his old weapons Halvard gave you for your training. I would rather do any of that. Better weapons would be fair and fine. I like that idea much more. I'm not going to end the feast right now, but I do want to go look around real quick. As you explore the world, you'll come across some objects that can be looted or interacted with. So these objects are, these are sometimes deliberately hidden. See which objects can be interacted with. Hold down the highlight all button. Okay. Let's go look around here real quick. Yeah, we have our supplies down here for the village. I see that now. Yeah, we have all our stuff over here too. Okay, let's go talk to him. Smith Keffelduffer has retreated to the familiar confines of his workshop where he's engaged in an energetic discussion with his wife, Dag Heidier. They break it up when they see you coming and Dag Heidier wanders off to find someone with, or someone else with whom to gossip. Sir Erlinger finally lost control of his idiot son city and glad to see you made it out of that mess in one piece. Let's go look over here. Asafir has challenged me to a duel. Is there anything you can do to help me? I hear it. Sorry, my boy. I'm not getting involved. I've known you both since you were small children. Asafir used to help out in the smithy. I won't have either of your blood on my conscience. I don't plan to kill him. I just have to beat him to defend my seat. Such things rarely go according to plan. Let's go look over here. In the heat of the moment, with a sword in your hand, I won't be responsible. The decision is final. Asafir is a strong warrior. I need him and his axe to defend the clan from our enemies, but you know our clan is safer and stronger with me in charge. He crosses his arms and squints at you for a long moment, then he releases a sigh. He doesn't have a poor head for tactics, but I will not give you still to swing against him. However, I can help you stay safe. Here, let me get you a good sturdy set of quilted armor. It will serve you better than that shirt you're wearing. The smith disappears into the back of his shop and re-emerges with a thick quilted shirt in his hands. He presents it to you with a solemn nod. This is the best I can do to aid you. If the fight goes well, you can keep it. Thank you. Just be careful out there. With that, Keffeldiffer seems to decide he's done enough smithing for today, and he starts with his nightly ritual of putting his tools back in their place. I mean, I'm getting all tongue-tied. I need a drink. I've been reading non-stop. So we've done that. I don't want to be too tricky, but I don't want the guy to die. I had a feeling that trying to do that would have caused an issue, but I didn't know it would happen immediately. I thought maybe in the long term that would have gone down, but apparently not. Okay, there's my drink. He is the clan's best hunter and is married to the other full-time hunter, Lothir. She bows her head respectfully as you approach her. El Oxal Badir. I witnessed Asafir's challenge. Is there anything I can do to help? Are you on my side in this dispute? Asafir is a good man, honorable and dutiful. His family is always fair in their dealings. 
But your father was lax in his role, and I admired that. He may not have built a strong and fearsome clan, but he respected us and put great trust in us all. I hope you'll continue that legacy, and I know Asafir's here, or, you know, Asafir, whatever, man. You know, I'm going to get these wrong, so completely wrong. Anyway, let's go look over here. Asher dear, suggests that you might know a few tricks to aid me in the duel. Tricks? Hmm, perhaps there's one thing I, I can do. Your uncle, Grimalfear, told me a story once. He was with Halvard and Gitlin to fight for his Sigurdir, Ringir, and he was tasked to ambush a group of mercenaries riding to reinforce the enemy. According to Grimalfjör, your father wanted to split up the riders with a surprise attack, so he had the idea of suspending a strong net above the path and running the rope across the ground concealed by branches. When the first horse stepped on the rope, it came loose and dropped the net down on the rider, tangling him up and causing him to fall off the horse. That's, in that's ingenious! Can you do it? It hinges on whether he expects to trap one. And how well it's hidden. I know how to hide a trap well enough from anyone. Good, I'll decide preparing. The worst thing that can happen is that you'll have to fight him like normal. That's what I thought. Okay, we have one more. Let's go look at the rose real quick. The old witch is way out here. I want to go talk to everyone that I can. There's a few other locations that I can go to. Wouldn't give me a new weapon, though. That's very bothersome. What's over here? My grandfather. Huh. Okay, so this is where our graves are at right now. It's not where I needed to go. Oh yeah, the old witch is probably out there then. Okay, let's go down there then. I wonder if I can move from up here. Nope, can't really do that, it looks like. Well, I can do that and then just kind of run. I can't wait to manage my village though. Let's go look real quick. Shield hook. I have more over here. It's for my axe. Support skills are over here. War cries are pretty cool. I definitely want to use that. Utility skills are over here. What else should I pick up? Can block melee. Yeah. I want a really good shield skill. I want to be able to block whatever I can. Yeah, let's go look over there. Alright, let's come on down now. And go talk to her, the old witch. I want her advice Why at the very least. You here? I'm here to see Holda. Are you sure? Today isn't one of her good days. She and I had that in common then. How's that? I'm fighting Hasselfir on Holmgang Island tomorrow. Oh wow, you'll be wanting some sort of poison then. That's between the witch and I. Come with me. She doesn't care. <laughs> I don't want to kill him, but I do want to talk about it. I'm hoping I can decline it. I'm not going to kill the guy. He's probably much stronger than I am, I can believe that. Hulda. It's the Thane. Come out and say hello. The old witch emerges from her burrow, supported by her brooding apprentice. Her knees shake with each slow step, and she wears an expression of deep concern. She stops a few yards outside the hut and blinks at you, confused. What are you doing home so soon? Did you decide to not, or not to go? What are you talking about? I made an offering to Thor when you left, and the same night he shook up the big willow with a thunderbolt. He brought you back safely, just as he showed me that he would. This is Baldir, the son of Halvard and Ashadir. Do you remember him? The old witch blinks again. She looks at Roskva for a long moment, as though searching for something in the girl's eyes. Then she shakes her head, annoyed. Of course I remember. Don't give me that look like I wouldn't remember. I need help with a duel. She holds up a hand, one long, dirty, frayed nail pointed straight at you. I told you that you would need the mixture, but you wouldn't take it. Hold up. Quiet, girl. For a long moment, nobody speaks. Hold his eyes, bore into you, long past the point of discomfort. Then they seem to glaze over. I was hoping you could help me. Her eyes wander aimlessly. Of course I'll help you. I always do what I can for you. Last time I gave a good fat rabbit to Thor, that he might watch over you on your journey. That very night, the big willow was shook by a thunderbolt. You already said it, Holda. Old woman grabs Roskova's hand and digs her nails into the underside of her, of the girl's wrist. Roskova winces visibly. Don't lie, useless cow. I know what I said. I'm not an idiot. You're not well today. Your memory. The old hag screams so spittle flies from her mouth. Get out of here. Go. I don't want to see you here again. Don't you ever come back here, you lying goat. Roskova sighs to feed and walks away. On her way past you, she pauses and mumbles so only you can hear. That's the third time today she's banished me forever. She'll call me back when she wets her bed again. Holda stares after her apprentice through narrow eyes as she leaves. You shouldn't talk to Ruskwa that way. 
She's out to make me look like an imbecile so she could be the new witch. Don't listen to a word she says. There's nothing wrong with me. I think we're done here. I hope you get well. There's nothing wrong with me. It's just like that evil girl. Fine, get out of here and don't you ever come back. Oh boy. Let me go talk to her. Yeah, she's a little bit too old for that. There's a timid mumble when you find her again. I'm sorry you had to see her this way. She's just having a bad day. You have nothing to apologize for. It's kind of you to say that, but I grieve for Holda. She is a wise woman with a lifetime of knowledge of the plants, the gods, and the spirits. I hate to see her mind unravel like this. If you caught her on a better day, I know she could have helped with your duel. How much of that knowledge did she pass on to you? I half smile. Taught me a lot of herbs and mushrooms of how to make pain go away or how to cause it. She sticks an arm deep into her knapsack and pulls out a small jar of powder. If he ingests it in the morning, he'll barely be able to stand at noon. Thank you, but it's too much. I only need a small advantage. That's all I have. I could do more if you had time to wait. I promise it won't kill him. Are you sure you don't want it? I'm sure. Thank you for your help with Holda. I will ask the word to aid you tomorrow. Okay. Let's go get ready now. Wasn't able to find much more, which is really unfortunate. At least I have armor, so that's nice. Again, I did want more than that. But, that is what I have. Let's hope I have enough to fight and win that duel, or things are going to be pretty rough for me. Campaign map, okay. Let's go see what I can do. Let's save real quick. Oh, it does auto save good. I was just wondering. I always like to save just in case anything happens. Like a crash. But no, so far it's actually been performing quite well. Which I'm very happy about. Okay. Go talk to everyone. How do I end a feast? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, they're all having a good time still. Is my brother. Oh, okay. I'm just going to bed. Alright. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Gotta do it, I guess. If I don't, I won't be the Thane. Next day at noon. You come to the prosaically named Homgong Island on the following day, rowing one of the clan small boats in the company of Nefja and Katil. Sigurdir and Lothir greet you there, having come out in advance to set the stakes that define the area. The hunters points to a small patch of branches on the ground. I fasten a rope over there, the long is well concealed among the branches overhead, but try to keep Asafir's attention on you when he comes. If he comes, perhaps he's thought better of it and decided to stay home. And then just cut till between the ribs, or perhaps Thor will happen to drop Mjolnir. I cannot pronounce that, I forgot how to pronounce it. From the sky and coincidentally crush Asafir's boat on the way here. You better show up, or I will row back and haul him out here myself. Chuckles, but then a pensive look comes over him. If it comes to that, surely there'd be a better re resolution. Asafir has the sense and the stubbornness of a mule, but he's still a family. The challenger arrives a short time later, accompanied by two other young men from his side of the family, the same companions who sat with you at your feast. Okay, let me look around real quick. Asafir looks healthy and awake. He gives you a curt but respectful nod. Steps directly into the ring without hesitation. His voice is strong and steady. We're all here. Then, good. Are you ready? Nefja addresses you, but keeps her eye on Asafir as she speaks. Baldir, I volunteer to fight in your place. Again, I appreciate that a lot. Your offer humbles me, but this is my fight. Nefja nods gravely and takes a step back. I understand. Good luck, Baldir. You walk into the ring opposite of Asafir. A sacred of the emotions to your opponent. As a challenger in this dispute, it falls on you to recite the rules of the duel. Asafir clears his throat and patiently recites the clan's traditional rules for single combat. I, Asafir, son of Grimvardir, have challenged Valdir, son of Halvard, for the right to rule our clan. The winner shall sit as Thane of Skirn and reside in his longhouse. He shall receive no other award beyond this. Should he survive, he who is defeated may swear fealty to the winner or his life is forfeit. If either of us falls in a duel, their body shall be buried here. All weapons are permitted, the duel will end when either warrior is dead or incapable of continuing to fight. He gives a final respectful nod and brandishes his weapon. As the challenge, the first strike is yours to make. Let's go look at what I have. Tactical move. Shield hook. I think I would like to do that. 
There we go. Nice. That was a shield hook. I can't do much more than that right now. Okay, I blocked it. Let's go look at what else I have. Makes a melee attack with plus five damage for every hex you move. Shoot. Should've done that initially. I forgot that I had that. Let's brace. Got him. Okay, I should... Don't I have dodge where I can move out the way? Nope. <laughs> Not like I thought. Okay. Oh, he dodged it, I, I think. Oh, he's using a bow. Now I'm harried. That's a critical hit, too. That was pretty rough. Attack of opportunity, right? Gotcha. Forty-nine. I wanted to stop fighting him, but he's got a bow. Will he still be able to attack me like that? I don't actually know. Let's see if we can move a little bit. I want to like face that way. I don't know if I can actually just change the way I'm facing, but anyway. I'm gonna be able to beat him, but it's a shame that I have to take him out like the way I am. We'll do a shield hook again. Knock back his shield. I like doing that a lot. Very effective. I don't want him to hit me again. He's a tough guy. I'm tougher, though. Much tougher. But that was a critical hit. But nothing. Not good enough. He's got brace going on. Another shield hook. Shield means nothing to me now. I like these abilities a lot. They're a lot of fun. Okay, good. I blocked that, but now he has no chance to block it. And he's down. But a good warrior now gone. I hope he's not dead. He might be. Okay, we did it. You've been keeping your skills sharp even without your father around to train you. He trained us both. What do you have against him? He was a great warrior, and like everyone else, I respected him for that. But if the king should raise the, the Dangir army tomorrow, how many able-bodied warriors could our clan muster? A dozen? Half the women in the clan are widows, and Hovard's full-hearted expeditions are the cause of it. He bangs his weapon against his second shield and gives you a somber nod. What? What are you doing? You idiot. Alright, that's fine. I'll charge. <laughs> I'll take you down, friendo. You've made a really bad choice today. I hope you know that. It's over for you, man. I didn't want to use any tricks. I just wanted to have like a backup plan. I thought he'd be much tougher, actually. I love these shields. They're great. I like how they perform. The combat's actually a lot of fun, I've got to admit. Got him again. That should be it. He's gonna be dead. I really don't want to kill him, but I do want to make sure everyone knows that I'm not going to lose. I'm Baldir. I don't lose. Easily. <laughs> As a fear, second shield crumbles off his grip. This matey heads back to the boat to fetch his last shield. You're nearly as good as Halvard. If you should win this, I hope you'll be a better Thane. I hope to serve with you as my Ascara. Be not without hesitation. My honor bids me to, and if I should win, you may serve as mine. Tell me, how do you plan to govern us? Let's go look over here. Atrophy. Three men prosper when left to choose their own path. We must defend, or we must strengthen our defenses. Then you are wiser than your father. If you win, I shall gladly serve you. But enough talk, let's finish this. Not quite there. Can I do it now? Nope. Not within range. A little bit closer. Now can I do it? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to actually reach him, so let's kind of move back over here. Oh, I'm in tangles. That's really funny. I didn't know that I could be. That's hilarious. I'm stuck here. That's very funny. Alright, looks like I'm going to be fighting here for a little bit. 
There goes my great charge. I hit very hard. I mean, I did focus on that, so that's logical. Time for a back and forth, like true men. We're gonna slug it out while I'm entangled. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, good. I'm glad my shield caught that. He's a good warrior, but he's no bad dad. Now we have him. That was actually pretty intense. I love the whole dynamic for that. Dear Billy, my shield went down. Give it back up, buddy. Get back up. The challenger struggles to get back with his feet, but he leaves his weapon in the mud and then he settles for just sitting on his knees before you, his head hung in the signal of defeat. You fight better than I expected. You've become a very capable warrior. If you'll accept my surrender, I pledge myself to your service. I accept your pledge. Some unusual mixture of sadness and relief washes over him. He holds your gaze for a long moment, and he seems to get back some of the energy the duel took out of him, and he stands. You show me great honor, and I hope my challenge won't linger in the air between us. I want you to know you can depend on me from now on, fully. Attila extends his hand to Asafir, who shanks it hesitantly. Glad to have you with us, you big log. You put up a good fight. I'll be glad to have you on our side. You are a full to challenge, Baldir, but I hope you learned your lesson. I am, I too. I'm glad to have you with us. Now we've done it. So, grab a chat real quick. He's a strong warrior, you're right. He didn't deserve death or exile for his foolishness. You're right about that. Okay, when we are back, if you would like to see more, let me know down below with a like and a comment and all that. Let me know what you think about the game and check it out down below. I really do enjoy it, so I do hope that all of you enjoy it too. It's a lot of fun. It has everything that I really like in a game. I like to be able to manage my own village and all of that. So, as always, until then.